Hark em all, ye fair maids, men, and God-fearing people, a story I'll tell to you. On the seventh day of January in 1982, the frost and cold would sin your soul and pierce you through and through. Now it's all a sad and grief-laden story I'll now unfold for you. The evening was right as it slipped into night to hunt for the duck and teal. On the Cumption Lake, where the goose and the drake do dabble and drink as they feel. The widgeon and swan, they both lie along, unspoiled by intruding men. It's a haven for game, from the wild to the tame, be it Brent goose or water hen. In the fibre glass bowls, these two families did float to the island out on the lake. Patrick Welsh and his son, with their dog and their guns, in an evening sport to partake. With his brother Tom, his sons and Vincent and Tom, as oft times they had done before. It was little they knew, their time it was due, they'd never return no more. As the Angelus bell rang out on the hill, the winds start to rage and blow. It blew such a gale, and to tell you my tale, was backed up by a blizzard of snow. This defenceless crew, God, what could they do? Their dinghy so light on the wave. In the wind and snow, it was over they did go and sank in a watery grave. It was early next morn, Long before dawn, the search party made a find. Three woolen caps that were worn by the chaps adrift on the snowy brine. It took days and nights, long hours with searchlights to find where their bodies lay. They're gone to their rest. In the arms of the blessed, preparing for judgment day. It was in the month of January, as the snow lay on the ground. In a churchyard still, two graves they did fill. Such grief will never be found. The old windmill stands silent and still, its arms crossed upon its breast. The lake now is calm, her victims have gone to their eternal 